All right, so before the new exhaust goes on, on this fabulous piece of machinery, uh, you do have to take off at least one side of the fairing, which I have conveniently done. The O2 sensor, I don't recommend spinning it out while plugged in. Uh, it runs underneath here. There's a little clip you can undo with a screwdriver. And then using trump hands, you got to get behind the uh, fairing. And there's a little um, clip that holds the uh, O2 sensor connection here. Undo that. And then you're ready to take off the OEM headers. Uh, in this case, I already put on a Black Widow slip-on that I bought. But I'm now going to a full system. Uh, another big plus is, grab my light here is uh i believe these are 12 mil and you do not need to take off the radiator and how i found out about that is when i was doing some fine welding modifying the can uh here so i didn't really like how that turned out and uh, i just basically want to get rid of the uh, boat anchor go to something freer flowing and i've had very good uh, results with um Black Widow pipes before. All right, so uh, one thing. Loosen off all your nuts here except for your outside one there. And on the very far one, so this stays in place, loosen off your Allen here. And then obviously take your slip-on off. And then undo this bolt. Obviously, unclip your O2 sensor. I mean, you can leave it clipped on. It's got a little bit of play, but I would undo it first and then undo those last. Don't forget to remove the OEM gaskets. Um, the Black Widow stuff does come with brand new uh, exhaust gasket. Here it is. Mm. Getting this from Black Widow. Um... These guys uh, do things very, very well. Typically what they'll do is they'll obviously give you the instructions. They're gonna give you uh, lettered uh, pieces that you're gonna have to put in, A, B, C, whatever. I haven't looked at the instructions yet because I'm a man, but I, I will look at them because I'm not a stupid man. So anyways, um, I need more bench space here. pipes uh, that's the bracket lube a lube ooh not one but two things of lube uh, I believe this is uh, oh yeah there you go uh, that's the new uh, copper washers all your springs all two bung which you're not gonna need what else yeah uh, let me open this up. Mm. Tasty. That should work out really well. Um, there's the shape of the pipe. Baffle in, obviously. So, I've gone ahead and taken this off. It's going to be on the uh, next part of the video. But, uh, yeah, so the plan is to uh, get some of the styrofoam out of the way. Dig up the instructions. Open all this up. Um put in the uh, new washers or the gaskets, I guess. Uh, dry fit it, mark it up nice, nice with a paint pen. And once everything sits nice, put it all together, put the springs on, bolt it, and Bob's your uncle. All right, so I just mocked up the exhaust here real quick just so I knew exactly how it was fitting. The instructions are... Fairly decent, but the key thing is, is they give you basically on the pipes, on the outside of the pipes, you got numbers on the links, you got where the numbers go, and then obviously you can't really screw this up. I'm going to thread in the O2 bung, um, got the coupling here. So I'm going to start with bolting these guys loosely into the cylinders. Um, what I did is I took a felt pen and just... Uh, on the inside of the pipe where it sits here, I'll show you here. 
if I can do this with one hand. There you go. You can sort of see that. God, best video ever. Here we go. There you go. There's number three, so that way I can uh, actually just uh, peel off all these numbers. They should come off pretty easy because they might uh, be a bit of a pain in the ass to take off once it's uh, been turned on and gotten quite hot. Oh, one thing I wanted to say is these are the stock gaskets, and they're, I mean, you could, you could use them, but uh, they're like pancakes. 1.16 mil to be exact. The new gaskets uh, provided by Black Widow are 5 mil, so these boys are going to go in. Okay, so new gaskets are in. I just used a little bit of that high temp uh, sealer to hold them in place. So I'm going to start with cylinder 1, 2. Uh, hang the two, uh, two pipes here into one link pipe. And likely uh, just give that a quick seal. Uh, then obviously go to three and four, put the second link pipe on. Uh, I'm going to thread in my O2 before I get too, too far ahead of myself. And uh, I will likely hang the bracket here first so I got something to uh, to uh, hang on to. Actually, I already have a bracket from my other Black Widow pipe, so there you go. Okay, so the uh, down pipes are in. So you can see it's a really nice fit. Obviously, I've left them all fairly loose so I can work with them. And there's a slip on for, for the uh, flange for one and two is going to go in like that. And then obviously three and four is going to go in. And then that's going to get picked up by this guy here. Then link pipe and up to the muffler. One thing I wanted to show. Let me just change my light here. There we go is I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see this just the overall quality of the welds are very very nice for what you pay for uh, this is my second Black Widow system the first one was on the uh, concourse and it made a very big difference on how the bike ran. I mean, I did have it flash just to take some of the um, weird things about that particular bike out. This one's just going to stay stock. It's got a stock air filter. I'm technically not putting any more air into it, uh, not adding any more fuel into it. So uh, we'll see how the uh, stock ECU takes it and go from there. Okay, so... Exhaust is bolted up loosely. You can see no uh, springs have been put on just yet. I got my marks here, so these are nicely bottomed. Um, if you're working on the Kawasaki, make sure you got clearance on pipe one and two up against the uh, oil pan. It's a little bit tight. Um, this bolt here is a bit long, so I'm going to take it and lob that off. The O2 sensor is going to have to get tied up to the top of the, um, or sorry, to the bottom of the frame here with a couple of tie wraps. So it kind of sits above the pipe. And then, like I said in the video on the disassembly, you can see the plugins right here. So I might actually, if I got enough room here, the original hookup is here. I might loop it through. And otherwise, um, Pipe looks really, really nice. Good clearance. Um, obviously, I might still have to rotate it a little bit, but obviously no issues with the swing arm. So now I'm going to basically quickly disassemble it, take this off, take the link pipe off, take that off, put a little bit of uh, high temp sealer around each pipe, put it together, uh, bolt it up so it's perfectly the way I want it, put the springs on, and then fire it up. Okay, everything's splooged up. As you can see, there's the sealer. There's the sealer. I'm just gonna put the muffler on. What I wanted to say is, even if you put a little bit too much of this on, um, you can see whatever excess was there once I actually clamped this down, you just wipe off the excess. 
And keep in mind that the whole thing is going to be covered by a gorgeous fairing. So uh, one last thing. I didn't tie up the O2 here. Instead, I tie wrapped it to the uh, this thing, whatever the hell that is. I think uh, crank position and another tie wrap here. And this is not going to go anywhere. It's not going to touch the uh, exhaust. Clearance is good here. Springs are on. I'm going to put the uh, muffler on. I got my little line here where I got the muffler perfectly this way. And otherwise, uh, everything's tied in there. Looks good. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to put that on, leave the fairing off, fire it up. 